We've done all of the hobbies that rich people do, but let's now do what rich people do in terms of actually having a job. Let's go be doctors. 64 times over because this is Dr. Mario 64. Where the only thing that's really changed is... The song, I guess. Uh, we'll just do classic. I've played this game many a time before. Actually, uh, there we go. Be end man. Uh, we'll keep ourselves. We'll give ourselves a decent chance. Let's go level six. Go keep the thing on low. Keep the thing on the normal theme. And we're back to doing what we do best. Puzzle games. You guys may disagree that puzzle games are the best thing about this channel, but... I like to think... No. Puzzle games are the best facets of this channel. And if you don't agree with that, then well... I don't know what to tell you there, champ. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we're just getting like some of the best friggin' uh, spots for these. And I'm not even joking. Uh, let's go here. And here. And here. And here. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Alright, let's get you out of here. Yeah, I meant to... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I wonder if people actually enjoy watching other people play games like this. Then again, I get those Reddit videos online all the time of people doing, like, the uh, little uh, parkour through friggin' Minecraft. And it tells a Reddit story. God, I wish I had thought of doing that. I would, I'd basically just have to friggin' sit around and be lazy for the rest of my life. I'd get to be lazy for the rest of my life. Just make a shit ton of those. Just have a bunch of have an AI voice read friggin' Reddit stories. God, you know how friggin' rich I'd probably be? I'd have like eleven dollars. All right, we're down to only one of these cretins left. And bibbity bobbity boo. All right, level seven. Let's see how far we can get in this. And then after that, we'll see. go perfection uh, let's grab put you right there Grab this one, okay, so let's hope I can time this just right. Beautiful. Man, I could I could definitely wish I had thought of that friggin' what's it called idea. Get rid of these. Boom. 
Boom. Two big hits there. Two big hits here. Two big hit. Oh, not too big, but one big hit there. And this should... This should almost do it. And then we'll have beaten two levels in this. And unlike with the freaking Columns game, which is really a terrible name just to call any game, just call it Columns. I feel like that game was in Action 52, most likely. And it wouldn't shock me if it was. Alright, all I need is blues now. And this should finish the job. Alright, I think we got one more level. Time for at least one more level. At least one more level. Good lord. I saw the timer there. excited for Christmas to come this year. We get to go back to an old family tradition that we have missed out on the last couple of years, and that's Christmas tacos. In case you guys not heard the story, uh, for about a few Christmases in a row, we did not have normal Christmas. Uh, in 2011, my mother and I went to Disney World, and obviously you don't have normal Christmas dinners there. In fact, my mom, she'll say that she looked into it, but I'm 90% sure she didn't. Looked at getting reservations for a place for Christmas dinner. And uh, we ended up having popcorn and margaritas. Or, more specifically, she had, a mar had margaritas. I had popcorn. But hey, I was in Disney World. The next day, more than the next few days, more than made up for it since we arrived in Florida on Christmas Day. So I wasn't, I, I, it's just a, one of those funny stories you get to tell someone. If they ever ask, oh, what's the weirdest thing you've ever had for Christmas dinner? Oh, popcorn. <laughs> then, uh, 2012 was the first Christmas, uh, that I'd be able to see, uh, Mild and Pebbles in for a very long time. So... My, their dad basically said, oh, what do you guys want for dinner? Anything you guys want, I'll cook it. Now, my sister and my mom both want a chicken franchise, and my cousins and I all said hamburgers. Now, my uncle just sat there and just stared at us blankly for, like, 20 seconds, and then was like, okay. I do appreciate the honesty, and we had hamburgers and chicken franchise for a Christmas dinner that night. And then after that, it all just went to whatever the hell we felt like cooking. And Christmas 2013, we had tacos. So, it's basically been a tradition for as long as we've been allowed to have it as such. Like, my uh, my stepfather was not a fan of the tradition. He's But he was like a, he was a super traditional Christmas type of guy. So it's like, they do like the seven fishes on Christmas Eve and stuff like that. That we never did that, thank goodness. And we were Italian too, but my uh, my aunt who hosted all those events was like, yeah, no, I don't do that. Uh, oh, this is going to be tricky. Alright, um, let's see if I can hit this here. Beautiful. Uh, let's hit this. Now all I need is... God, I just need one yellow. Uh, shit. Wrong spot. Uh, Evay. Alright, so now give me a double yellow and we should be good. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And hit that one. And we can spend the rest of the day just torpedoing these guys. These guys. Oh, yuck. 
And then boom. Then all I need is a red. And that's ball game. Oh wow, this one was a quickie. I did three levels of Dr. Mario without even flinching. Okay. I guess that'll wrap things up and it'll be pretty pretty decent episode to uh remark on, but you know, the drill. I mean I could probably realistically shove fit if I almost said shove in fit in one more level. But unfortunately, we've got other things to do. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another day in the countdown to Christmas. What day are we up to now? We are up to day... This was just day 10? Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. I will see you tomorrow for day 11. And what is on day 11? Ah. Ah, crap.